So hey there. So today we have another review, and this is from Half Acre, and this is Daisy Cutter Pale Ale, five point three percent. One of the classic pale ales out there. I'm really excited. We poured the seven modern one ounce. Modern pale ale. Huh? It's classic modern. A modern classic. Yeah, it's not Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, which is like right. a forty year old or thirty year old recipe. Something really old. But this is just got to Florida, which found out. Unfortunately, four months old. And uh, all I can say is, right off the bat, the head is somewhat yellow, which isn't necessarily off-putting. No. But is as he Beautiful, poured it, like medium to deep gold color. The gold moment color. he poured it, even before I put my nose to it, I oh, can yeah. smell the oxidation, which is hella off-putting. I guess it's too. Smells it's pure like oxidation. envelopes and paper bags. Well, a lot of them uh, taste like envelopes. This one smells like. Um, Again, uh, people are trying to learn on this channel, learning about oxidation, hoppy beers, and the shame. Of, oh, the shame. Well, one of the worst things, in my opinion, about the industry, and one thing worst things about craft beer is just old beer. And we're stuck with, like, this. And the fact that we have to taste beer like this and paid for it is a shame. Yeah, okay. So, um, getting back into it, it definitely smells like no hot flavor. envelope glue. Uh, no hot flavor. Uh, it smells like dingy paper bag, like wet paper bag, wet dog kind of thing going on. Uh, very unpleasant on it the nose. It smells like cardboard, yeah. Yeah, very unpleasant on the nose. Like wet cardboard that, you know, you're trying to clean up. Wet and... paper bag. I'm talking about brown paper bags. Yeah, brown paper bag. No, let's dig into it. Ah, how reminiscent of a beer that may have been good at one time. Yeah. There's a little bit of floral touch to it, a little bit of like very sweetness floral, to it. Very floral, very floral. Which, you know, it is called Daisy Cutter. It has a lot of flowers on the can. However, I feel like the floral touch is not natural in this one. I feel that the floral touch is, in fact, more of so a, Yeah, it's more of an aged thing. Yeah. Um, the beer is actually, like, decently pretty underneath. I yeah. can look for it, but it's so papery. And it's following with what you described... It just, it has tons of this kind of like, oh, as a kid, construction paper, right? Like it or has crepe that, paper. Yeah. It's just that. You know, crepe paper, right? Like the, 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 the ribbons that you would hang over at parties. Have you ever tasted that? It tastes like shit. Um, tastes like this. Yeah. Well, I think I might have some in a box somewhere if you want to taste so, it. So anyway, final pressure rating. Fuck. Good review. I'm so sorry. Like. I want to give this. this I want to give this like. I was uh, one of the picks this out. I'm gonna be like, yo. And and you know what? I wanted to review this beer and like have it be good because the can is so pretty. I mean, it's pretty. Like this is this is like very reminiscent of spring and excitement and new. However, this beer falls flat in that it's old. Pretty. Um, it is literally everything the opposite of what it should have been. Uh, rating, shit, uh, 78, because, like, I feel like this is some garbage, and it's not their fault, it's just when we received it. Yeah, uh, I'm similar, I'm gonna give a little bit of higher rating, I'm giving 82. Oh, um, four points. Yeah, uh, pretty terrible, um, <laughs> pretty terrible, but, like, ah, no, it's so terrible, that one, I'll go back down. Oxidation is really rough. I'm, I'm it so is. Sad to it's it. like, yeah, okay, so we're the same. Until next time, guys. Cheers. This half acre, Daisy Cutter. Maybe next thing. time. Maybe next time. Later.